Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So uh, in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make the live donation support in Please Donate. So uh, if you didn't read the first like 7 seconds of this video with the text, you're going to need my Please Donate game model. So like just sort that out, the link is in the description. And also uh, I added the nuke to the Please Donate game model so you can now uh, like just get it again and you'll have the Please Donate nuke, okay? So uh, now let's get started with the live donation board, okay? So basically, it will be based off like the donated leaderboard. So basically, first let's just donate, uh, like no, duplicate the donated leaderboard. Let's just call it live donations, okay? Just like that. And we're gonna change that. We're gonna delete this headings, okay? The headings thing, just delete that, okay? Now see the sign. We're just gonna change the service GUI to live donations. Okay, live donations, just like that, okay? And then we're going to bring this main part, we're going to scale it up until it touches this, just like that, okay? And then next, see this surface GUI of the scrolling frame, okay? So we're going to take this template and put it in the scrolling frame so we can see what it is, okay? So we're going to delete the amount and then we're going to delete the rank. Okay, and then with this, uh, we're going to change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0, and the position to 0, 0. Mm, no, actually, no, wait, I think this should be 1, no, wrong way. I think this should be 0 0.9, comma 0, comma 1, comma 0. Okay, and then uh, we're just going to call this uh, info text. Okay, just like that, and then just, let's just make the text like player has donated 100 robux to player just as a template okay and then uh let's just as a template okay and then see the and then we're going to delete this main script and see in the ui list layout okay we're going to change sort order to name okay from layout order to name okay just like that so now uh we're gonna so go to server script service and go to your donated message okay so we're gonna edit the script okay to make live donations in so we're gonna do local messaging oops i spelled local wrong so local messaging service equals to game get service messaging service okay just like that and then we're gonna do some other stuff okay so below this line we're gonna do some other stuff we're gonna do local info text equals to player dot name dot dot has donated space dot dot price dot dot space robux to dot dot other player dot name dot dot and then uh, exclamation point so basically it will be player dot name has donated the price robux to other player dot name okay then we're going to do messaging service publish a sync so this will publish it to every single server live donations just like that comma info text okay so it's gonna send that okay now we're just gonna need one more script and we will be done with this matter of factly okay so we're gonna insert another script into this donate message we're gonna call this live donations okay and see this uh, template frame right in the scrolling frame, we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it inside the live donations thing, okay? Just like that. So we're gonna do, okay, so we're gonna do local messaging service equals to game get service messaging service, okay? We're gonna do messaging service subscribe a sync, just like that, uh, uh, quotations live donations okay the outside of the quote is comma function and then msg standing for message okay so we're going to do for underscore comma frames in pairs workspace dot live donations dot main part that surface you that scrolling frame get children do so basically in the scrolling frame we're just getting everything that's under there so like let's say previous live donations okay so we're going to do if frames is a frame so do not the UI lay layout if it's just like the template frame right we're gonna do local frame number equals to two number 
frames.name. So basically, since we, in the UI layout, see how we did it by name, so we're going to number these so it stacks from top to bottom, okay? So now we're going to do local frame number equals that, I think, and then frames.name equals the frame number plus one. Oops, that's a error. Frame number plus one. So basically it just adds one, so the lower number, the new frame will be under there. So now we're going to do local local clone equals to script dot parent dot template no script dot template clone okay we're gonna do clone dot name equals to one so uh, it's at the top and then we're gonna do clone dot info text dot text equals to message dot data okay not just message message dot data because it's message service and then we're gonna do clone dot parent equals to workspace dot live donations dot main part dot surface gui dot scrolling frame and guess what we're done okay so if i were to press play this is supposedly going to be fully functional and it was that simple to make it don't mind this this is me testing nukes okay so let's say i donate 10 to myself okay Ten pops up on the live donation. Let's say I donate a hundred k. Boom, live donation pops up. And also, one more thing to reduce lag, okay, is that you're gonna want to uh, in live donation we're gonna do wait ten, clone destroy, okay. So that means it's just gonna delete it in ten seconds, so it doesn't have to change every single one name. So, or else it's going to get really laggy, okay? So now it's, everything's going to delete after 10 seconds, okay? So everyone can see it for 10 seconds, 100, so that's 10. If I were to do 100k, you'll see both of them leave like 5 seconds after each other. See, and then wait for this one to leave, this one will destroy, and then after that one will also destroy. So everything stays for 10 seconds, and boom, you have the simplest live donation support ever. So uh, I'll be releasing this in the Please Donate Game model next week. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!